All right, so you have a medium to wide foot and you need a running shoe. Well, in this video, I am gonna talk about this shoe right here. This is the Nike Windflow 6. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs. I'm gonna tell you who it's for and how it performed for me. And I'll tell you all that in a few seconds. Be right back. All right, so guys, I'm back. I wanna welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review. I'm your host, Mike, and let's get into today's video. We are talking about this shoe right here. This is the Nike Windflow 6. Um, like I said before, I'm going to tell you what I thought about them. I'm going to tell you uh, how much they cost me. I'm going to tell you who I think they're for and how they perform for me. But before I get into that, again, uh, I like to read exactly what the website says. So, you know, you get the exact uh, descriptive part. You know, some of my videos, I get right to how I'm feeling about the shoe or the product. And I forget to tell you what the company described it for. So I'm going to read this exactly what it says from the Nike.com website. It says the Nike Air Zoom Windflow 6. And it costs 90 bucks. Put that right up there so you can see that. Take that back. Uh, the way Speedy looks now, that's their tagline. And the descriptive is this. In a fluid design that speaks the language of fast, the Nike Air Zoom Windflow 6 has less bulk and a more sculpted profile than previous versions. It has two zoom air units for targeted responsiveness in the forefront, forefoot and heel. Up top, engineered mesh optimizes breathability. Benefits. Two zoom air units give a responsive, stable feeling underfoot. I'm gonna mark that right there, okay? Engineered mesh and synthetic upper provide supportive structure and breathability. Boom, boom. Sleek sculptured profile creates a fast look. Boom, boom. All right, so my thoughts on the shoe, first of all, if you just want to get right to the nitty gritty, uh, my thoughts on the shoe, and again, I'm going to put this down, I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. My thoughts on the shoe is that these are a really good budget shoe. Um, Nike tends to run on the narrow side. So if you're someone that has a medium to a wide foot, a flat foot, a low arch, you don't have a high arching foot, uh, this is going to be for you. This is why I like the Windflow brand. Uh, I First of all, I bought the Windflow 2s, got them at the uh, Nike outlet factory, whatever, 30 bucks, and it was probably one of the best buys I've ever bought. They were extremely spongy, extremely comfortable. Uh, I hated the color they were white and blue, but the gray and blue, whatever. But the point is, it was an extremely comfortable shoe. And I remember that. I remember the Windflow name, and I thought, okay, when these go bad, I'm going to go back to them. I normally go to Adidas. Fast forward three shoes later, because I bought them, boom, boom, wore those out, and I needed a pair of shoes back in November 2019. I know that seems like eons ago, pre-COVID, pre-craziness, uh, but I bought a pair of shoes back in November 2019. I go to Macy's, I spend an hour and a half looking between these, the Pegasus, the uh, uh, some crazy pair of Adidas, like NRG or something like that, I don't remember, and uh, a pair of Brooks. Everyone was talking about these Brooks shoes. But when I tried the Nike Windflow 6 on, I'm like, these are the ones. Um, again, if you have a wide foot, you know, you can see this is not archy. If you have a wide foot, especially through here, the midfoot area, if you have a wide foot through there, this is gonna be the shoe for you. Um, they're really built on the style and the look. If you look at the back of them, of the Pegasus, that's like the new zoom look that they got going on. Um, but I noticed that they said they're sleek. These are not sleek looking shoes, okay? They look like big clodhoppers if you ask me. They're, they're not sleek, like, oh wow, those look like they weigh five ounces. No, these look pretty heavy. They're not heavy, but they look heavy. Um, so to say that these are sleek would not be my word of choice, let's just say that. Um, but again, my thoughts on them are, if you can get these for under $90, under $80, these are a good shoe. Uh, they're gonna last you for six months. So, you know, I normally say uh, change your shoes out every three to four months, but I've had these now for eight months actually, and I'm probably two months over. So these are gonna last you for about six months before you start to feel a difference. You know, structure wise, they look fine. They are starting to roll over. Mushroom is what they call them. They're starting to mushroom a little bit through there, you know, but as far as feeling a difference, zero through six months, 180 days, these are good to go. Um, I stand by that. I wear these, I wore them out. Um, I'm talking probably 
15 to 22, 22 hours a week in the gym. And then when COVID hit, you know, I was probably 10 to 15 um, hours a week outside on concrete and grass, you know, the whole thing. I, I wasn't discriminating where I use these shoes at. So uh, my thoughts on them are they are an excellent shoe. I'm gonna give them five out of five stars there for that price. When I say cost, Nike's got them for 90 bucks. I don't think I would pay $90 for these shoes. Uh, I got mine for $65 at Macy's, and I think I had like a 20% off coupon, so I ended up paying like $52.49 for these. That was a steal. They're totally worth it. $90. I I'm not in the shoe market like some of you other guys are, but I'm assuming for $90, bucks you probably can move over to like Brooks or Asics or something like that if you're a runner. Um, but for me, this is an all-in-one, like, and I'm going right into who is this for now. Um, this is an all-in-one, so this is a squatter, squatting shoe. This is a runner shoe. This is a, uh, not a sprinter shoe, but a runner shoe. So like if you jog, you know, 5Ks, 10Ks, you can do that in these and be fine. If you're on a treadmill or on the street, you can do that in these and be fine. Um, if you squat, if you do like, you know, lunges and stuff like that, that's fine too. If you want to, you know, bike in your shoes, you can do that. You know, these have excellent grip on these. So I find myself shooting baskets in these a lot, and I played a couple games of 21 before COVID hit, um, and I had excellent grip in them. So you can even shoot baskets in them. So they're for that purpose, that person that does the crossfitting that might want to run, they might want to bike, they might want to row, they might want to be indoor, outdoor, and they want to grab one shoe, and it's comfortable, and it's wide, and it's breathable. And this is that shoe, this is that shoe. Um, going right to breathable. I'm not gonna say that they're hot. They're not hot. And they do have holes in them. And you can see that, maybe not. They're not a hot shoe, but they're not the most breathable shoe that I've ever gotten either. Your feet are gonna stink after two or three hours, should I say. Your feet are gonna smell a little bit. Uh, that's just what it is. They're not hot. Like I've had worse shoes where, I mean, I really felt like my feet were on fire. Uh, that is not the case with these, but when they say these are breathable, I'm not sure I agree with that. And then lastly, uh, performance. You know, I think you can pretty much tell based on what I've been saying, these performed and I'm, I'm gonna test them. I'm gonna give it 15 to 20 hours a week of uh, game time and we're gonna see what it's gonna do. So, you know, I think the only complaint that I have about these is that they screech a little bit more than I would like to them for them to screech on the treadmill when I'm running at slower speeds. It's like you're in a basketball court when I'm on the treadmill. Um, and I noticed my other shoes just don't do that. I think it's just the way these are and that's fine. You know, I can deal with it. But the point is if you're someone that uh, you like to slow trot or slow jog a mile, be prepared to hear eek, eek, eek. every time that foot comes down, uh, that's just gonna be there. They're not sleek, that's a con and they are not maximum breathable type shoes you know it says they're engineered for mesh and synthetic upper provides supportive structure and breathability i don't know if i agree with that uh, i'm gonna say they're like a 3.75 on the breathability scale um, but yeah if you can find these under 90 dollars under 80 dollars i would say grab them you know like 75 is probably the top of the line i got mine for 52 that was a steal Depends on where you are with your budget. You guys know from my previous reviews, I like finding bargain shoes. And uh, these, I got a good deal out of them. You know, I lucked out. So that is my review on these. Uh, when it comes to pros, you know, they're the all-in-one type shoe. Um, as you can see, this one is com just completely flat, worn, it's time. Uh, they'll probably become my new lawn shoes, something like that. Um, but, you know, this is the all-in-one that you can, if you're going for a run, going for a bike, I'm gonna go squat, I'm gonna go do leg exercises. I want something that matches all of my outfits. It's black, you know, pretty pretty uh, stealthy looking right there. You know, not too much flare on it. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, you know, normally I like my shoes to stand out, but they're normally red and they go with black. Uh, so all in one type shoe, wide, medium to wide foot, low arch or flat foot. This is for you. You cannot go wrong with this. 65 bucks, give it a shot. Um, those are all pros for me. Those, that's what I look for out of a shoe. So, and I got six. I got eight months out of it. But you will get six months out of it. So, they last longer than the normal shoe. So, for me, the 50 dollars shoe. Take a look at the Windflow Six. You can get it for under 75 bucks. I think you uh, will be surprised. Anyway, that is it for the shoe review for today.
as always guys if you like what you heard hit that like button turn notifications on subscribe i'm at 839 i need to get the thousand i got a lot more content to give you guys and i'm holding back because i haven't hit a thousand yet so you know i got a lot of I have a lot of stuff to tell you guys is what i'm trying to say and uh if you guys could help me get to a thousand i appreciate it and if you like what you heard always like i said hit that like button and come back for the next shoe review and i'll see you then and i thought okay when these go bad i'm gonna go back to them i normally go to adidas fast forward three shoes later because i bought three pairs of adidas it's freaking that it's killing me